Welcome! In this session, we're going to be reading Luke chapter 17, verses 3 and 4. This is talking about sin and about when should you forgive somebody? When should you forgive somebody? What should, what should you do if your brother or sister, for that matter, in the Lord would sin? Let's read it. Verse 3. These are the words in red, the words of Jesus himself, the words of our Lord. Be careful. If your brother sins against you, rebuke him. Oh no, I just want to love him and pray for him. It's not what Jesus said. Are you a follower of Jesus? Are you really a follower of Jesus? Jesus said, if your brother sins against you, rebuke him. What does that mean? That means confront him and rebuke him. Let's read on. If he repents, forgive him. Now, according to this passage, we are not obligated to forgive unless that person repents, changes their mind, changes their life, brings change into the situation. Because you can change your mind without even really repenting either because look at Esau. It says that he sought, it says in the book of Hebrews, that Esau sought repentance with tears but did not get it. What does that mean? It means he, he, he sought for change in his life, that his life would change for the better, but he never got it, even though he sought it with tears. So repentance doesn't necessarily mean tears or sorrow. It means change. If your, brother, if your brother sins, rebuke him. If he repents, then forgive him. And again, forgiveness does not mean f forgetting it. It just means not holding that thing against him. Not holding, that, holding a grudge against him. Uh, not trying to make him pay for that particular sin in one way or another means if you're not talking to him because he sinned in that way, you, if you forgive him, you start talking to him. Unless that sin involves something where you are, you are compromising your safety or the safety of your loved ones by talking to that person. Okay, There's always different circumstances, but you know what I'm talking about. Forgiveness is a decision just to not hold this against them anymore not to hold a grudge against that person anymore. And once again, this is all Torah. Jesus was, was when he was uh, teaching all this, he was teaching Torah. You know, the Torah, uh, in the books of Moses, it says don't hold a grudge. Okay? That's forgiveness. Jesus just kind of expounded on that, opened it up, unfolded it a little bit more. Because you see, a lot of the Jews in his day didn't really fully understand it, didn't really fully get it. Let's read on. Verse 4, if he sins against you seven times in the day and seven times returns, saying, I repent, you shall forgive him. Now, seven here, again, is not a literal number like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven means uh, all like a, it is almost like an eternal number. It's almost like an infinity. It, it means past, present, and future, all, all things uh, included it's, it's an all-inclusive number. Seven can mean, you know, seven times can mean literally three times. It can mean literally 300 times. Uh, because again, the, word, the, the number seven in Scripture is an all-inclusive infinitive number. It, it just is all-encompassing, encompassing every aspect, every possibility. Um, it is a complete number, a perfect number, so to speak. So if your brother sins against you many times and comes back to you saying, I repent, then forgive him. It's important to forgive. Uh, if you don't, you give place for the devil in your life. And this is what we've spoken about many times in, uh, in our readings. So uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail in this particular teaching because I've taught about it many times before. So go into the other teachings. Uh, where I teach uh, in other uh, passages when Jesus is, is talking about forgiveness and what happens if you do not forgive. So, as you go, may God give you the strength and power over sin, give you the strength and power to forgive when you need to forgive, and give you wisdom to know what to do 
in all the circumstances you come across in life. Let him, let God enlighten the eyes of your understanding and show you great and mighty things as he reveals the secrets of heaven to you. In the name of Yeshua. Amen.